The winter has thawed, spring begins to bloom, and the students remain on campus. With the pandemic in full swing, Stony Brook University cancels their traditional spring break and introduces a spring break staycation. Dr. Smita Majumda Das, the director of the Center of Prevention and Outreach, chaired a committee to replace spring break with different activities and events. So this year, there's no spring break, no traditional spring break. But in lieu of that, we started thinking our students do need a time to de-stress and really have a week identified that mentally they know that the demands are a little less, kind of having some time to take care of themselves. Spring break is most known for the time when college students travel, party, or just break from normal studies, which can also be a boon to mental health. It is kind of nice to just keep pushing through and like not have that weird stop. Um, but it, it would be nice. Uh, it is a little disappointing that I didn't get to have a break, but I understand why, and I'm not like mad about it. It's just like, it is what it is, you know? It's been great. Like uh, today we had a scavenger hunt event, so we had to run on the campus, do a lot of activities, make a lot of videos. So uh, something out of the ordinary, uh, a good break from the st studio's routine, that's it. So. Spring break staycations are not unique to just Stony Brook University, but schools around the country are implementing some version of staycations. Most notable is UC Davis's offer to its students of a $75 gift card as an incentive to remain on campus. But Dr. Majumda Das warns that it may not be the proper motivator for behavior change. Incentives sometimes can backfire. Like, I'll take it, but I'm not going to do anything with it, and I'm going to still go out. Right? What are you going to do? These behaviors can be seen in Miami last week, where spring breakers from around the country partied without concern of the virus potentially becoming a super spreader event. Moving forward, I hope never to have to do a staycation spring break, but we do want to kind of continue providing these different activities throughout the semester. Now, the committee in charge of the staycation suggested that professors reduce the workload of the students for the week, but many of the students that I talked to said that this was the busiest week of the semester. In spite of that, Student Affairs says that many of the events were still well attended. This is Reyes Wilson reporting from Stony Brook, New York.